Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're looking at Morrowind in VR again, but this time it's a bit different. I've installed the Starwind mod. This was a very ambitious mod that completely replaces the map of Vardenfell with various planets of the Star Wars universe, so massive credit to the creator Ignatius who gifted this to the community. I thought I'd do my usual thing of seeing how it works in VR. So the guy who made this has replaced all the races from the usual Morrowind, as well as the skills. For example, Restoration has been renamed to Light Side Powers, and Destruction has been renamed to Dark Side Powers, and a few other skills have had similar name changes. Spells as well are completely revamped, so none of the spells from Morrowind are available here, they will be replaced with other stuff. This was a nice touch, and I'm sure any Star Wars fan would enjoy seeing the new stuff in this game. So part one, the Star Wars universe. You start the game in Tatooine in a town called Sand Driver, and you're straight away thrown into the story of dealing with a gang of Rodians. After dealing with the first quest, I did what any Morrowind fan does, and I sacked off the quests in lieu of exploring. The other planets you can visit are Kashyyyk, Manan, Dantooine, and Nar Shaddaa. And I'll talk about these one by one. Bear in mind I've only played this mod for a few hours, but in that time I did a fair bit of exploring. First off, Tatooine, the starting area. This is the hub of your game, the new Balmora. If you get in a bind, you'll probably end up coming back here. With it being the starting area, it feels more fleshed out than other places, with a lot more interesting NPCs to talk to. There's some early game enemies to fight in the Rodian district, and some early game interesting weapons to try out. I'll get to the weapons later in the video. The quests lead you onto some investigative work, and some fighting, and they give you a nice stepping off point into the game. Before long, I explore the next planet, which was Kashyyyk, the Wookiee planet. This was a nice change of scenery with treetops and jungle creatures. This was also where I found the first Sith Bastards to kill for their lightsabers. Here you can find boars, bugs and of course Wookiees. Yeah, they all look like shit, but hey ho. Next was Manan, the aquatic planet. This level was basically all in corridors and I got lost as f multiple times. But this was where I joined the Republic and I picked up some quests involving killing some Sith. This was the most interesting questline I found, but sadly it was the least interesting setting. Next was Dantooine, a planet with lots of grassy plains. I found some weird flying manta rays and I got excited when I found a large open area with some enemies. However, what started as an awesome excuse to try out some weapons quickly turned into a boring slog of just massive open grassy nothingness. There was a settlement which I stormed and cleared out, but after that I found very little of interest, except these big blue intimidating motherfuckers. The last place I visited was Nar Shaddaa, the Smuggler's Moon, but this was really just a large building more than it was a planet to explore. Now, with all that said, I do want to make it clear that just because I explored it doesn't mean I picked up all the quests, which definitely would have fleshed out my experience. So if you're a Morrowind and a Star Wars fan, you still might want to check this out and work through the quests as intended. Part 2, the weapons and their integration in VR. So obviously, I was in the mood for trying out blasters and lightsabers. So I had to use console commands to increase my skills and to make sure my attacks landed. However, even with these, the blasters just did this. I'm not sure what caused it, but the blaster bolts just flew off to the side. This is almost definitely a VR issue and not an issue with the mod itself. It's a shame though, as crossbows work really well in the normal Morrowind game in VR, but sadly, I had to put blasters down. But weirdly enough, enemies always missed you too. Must be from the Stormtrooper Training Academy, I guess. Now, for melee weapons, you start off finding Vibra Blades almost right away. And whilst these are cool, especially the dual blade variant, they're not exactly what you think of when you hear Star Wars. I set out to find a lightsaber as soon as possible. And once I did, I was really let down. It's really anticlimactic to kill a Sith, steal their lightsaber, and have them looking like this little trickle of light coming out of it. I still enjoyed it, but the look of them fell flat. Just a quick note, I tried it out, and this is only exclusive to VR. If you're playing without VR on a flat screen, then these lightsabers actually look pretty damn nice. The peak of my experience though was finding the dual blade lightsaber from one of the Republic quests and waving this around my head like a nutter. Cannot argue with that. I think Darth Maul was onto something. Part 3, recommendations. Now, I wouldn't recommend you try this mod in VR, mainly because I think that using a blaster would add a lot more to this experience than I was given, and they don't work. But I would also recommend only using this mod if you do a fresh install of the game, because you can't load into Vardenfell at all whilst this mod is active. This mod completely replaces the map, but if you're a fan of Star Wars and you're interested in following the story that this guy has laid out for you, I do genuinely think this mod will have a lot to offer you. The quests are really nicely laid out and written, and the NPCs have a lot of nice voice acting involved and it is just so obvious that a hell of a lot of love went into this creation so definitely give it a go but play it on flat screen instead of vr <laughs> don't do what i did anyway thank you for listening to me ramble on about an incredibly obscure mix of morrowind mods i hope you've enjoyed this video and if there's anything else in morrowind that you'd like me to try in vr then let me know in the comments and if i think it'll be fun then i'll try it out and make a video of it feel free to subscribe if you want more and i'll see you guys in my next video